the Pro Mini Hoop Micro. This is much smaller than the XL Pro Mini Hoop that I have. This is their smallest version, good for a little office or compact area. As you can see, compact, pro grade backboard, breakaway steel rim, and foam ball. The ball on these is a little bit smaller than the other Pro Mini rims. This is a four inch ball, and the other ones are normally a five inch. I'll do a size comparison for you here in a minute. Let's open it up. Actually, let's have a look. Over the door brackets, stylish backboard design, foam padded protective backing to protect your doors and walls, with a four inch ball, eight inch breakaway rim, which I don't recommend hanging on. That's how some people snap their backboards, typically about right there. Sure, you can dunk it, just don't hang 200 pounds of body weight from it. Of course, it's going to break. I see people complaining about that in reviews online. That's not a valid complaint. So anyways, let me open this up real quick. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see, here's the 4-inch Pro Mini Hoop Ball. If it's right in my hand, let me show you the regular size balls for the other Pro Mini hoop. See that's a 5 inch ball versus the 4 inch ball. It looks a lot bigger on camera than it really is. Um, so here's the soft ball. Here is the little blow up ball. This is for my Midnight Pro Mini Hoop XL. Pretty cool. Love it. You could technically use the full size balls in the rim that comes with this it just won't be it won't be as easy which is good I mean for extra practice if you want to work on your skill and landing it in the hoop these will be good practice balls but the standard one that comes with it will be a lot easier so if you want to practice and get your aim down use a little bit bigger size so all the stuff it comes with, the rim, looks like your mounting brackets, your screws and everything, your net, there's the breakaway rim right there. Here is the backboard, which looks pretty good. So I'm going to put all this together and install it. Alright, I got the rim together. It only takes about five minutes with the included instructions. You can pause here if you lost yours. The thing that takes the longest is using this tiny wrench to get these little screws and bolts on. Now make sure you don't over tighten them because that's an easy way to snap your backboard. So be mindful of that. Don't hang from your rim. This thing should last you a long time like my other one has.